Hi everybody, this is Scott White and Kivowitz. I want to do a quick video just showing how I upload to uh, the US Copyright Office for all my photographs. And you can see here, um, I have my 2014 folder. I have not yet done this, and it's now January of 2015, so I'm about to do my copyright for that year. Um, and uh, I actually do it once a year. Some other photographers, they do it every month, and so on. But um, I do it once a year, and it's been working out fine for me. Um, so you can see here I have all my photographs selected except three. These are three that I did not take myself. These are portraits that um, uh, an Arcanum apprentice of mine actually photographed of me. So um, I'm not going to do that. And you can also see that some of these are just goofy photos. They're not even my professional photos. These are just um, photos that uh, were from my cell phone or things like that. Just these are photographs that I own. So um, I'm going to show you what I do to prepare my uh, my my upload for the US Copyright Office. I'm not gonna actually walk through the copyright part of it because it's been done through on, on the internet so many times. So there's endless uh, videos and, and articles that you can read to see how to go through that process. Um, and it's fairly straightforward as well. There are some downsides to the US Copyright Office um, uploading images and I'll talk about that in a little bit, but here's what I do. Everything's highlighted, go to file, export. Now I actually have a preset already made right here called copyright upload and you can see that what I'm doing is I'm exporting them to a subfolder called eco copyright on my desktop and then under file naming you can see that I have a custom setting and it's basically set to my name and then uh, the image file. If I go to the edit just so you can see that my name and then the file name. That way the copyright office actually sees my name in the file and I can always reference the image if I needed to. I am not including videos because I don't really do any videography, so I don't need to copyright my videos. And then I have uh, file settings, and this is important because it doesn't matter really. You don't want them tiny, but you don't want them huge for uploading to the copyright office. So I have um, a JPEG, sRGB, the quality is 72 compression, resize uh, the long edge at 640 pixels at 72 ppi. It's a fairly small image. The rest does not even matter. Leave your watermark, uh, your metadata in there because, you know, that's important because if your copyright's already, hopefully you're copywriting on import um, all your photos into Lightroom, that means your copyright is already inside of the metadata and the, um, the US Copyright Office will actually recognize that in the metadata if it was ever needed. And then all you do is hit export. Now what's gonna happen is Lightroom's gonna think for a while and it's going to, uh, you know, prompt saying it's thinking, all that fun stuff, and then it'll start exporting to the folder. Now here's the tricky part. Um, the US Copyright Office only allows for zip files to be uploaded um, up to a certain limit. And that limit, last I checked in 2013, was 170 megabytes. However, and you can see here, 170 megabytes is what they say on their website. However, I found that even at 170 megabytes, they're saying it's too big. So really their system is not exact. So I actually limit it to 150 megabytes per zip file. Now, the way that I actually do this, because Lightroom is actually gonna export all the photographs into one folder. So I will actually use this application for my Mac called Folder Splitter, and I'm sure there's Windows applications as well. And basically I'll go to Split, and I'll be able to um, select a folder, select a destination folder, and then I can set a maximum size of that folder and I'm gonna say 150. That way I'm giving myself some leeway when it comes to uploading it to um, the, uh, the, the US Copyright Office. And the rest I don't even touch. And then I would hit start splitting once that was good to go. And then from there I can zip each folder and uh, upload them to my copyright. And now again, I'm not gonna go through the actual uploading process or the copyright process, but I can tell you it takes about a few weeks to receive that copyright notice in the mail and then I then store it safely in uh, in safes so um, in fireproof and waterproof safes so um, I always have that and of course it's always gonna be on file with the uh, US government as well um, but if you want to see the actual process of uploading and um, doing the whole copyright at the eco copyright um, section of the US Copyright Office just do some YouTube searches and some Google searches for it you're gonna see a lot of content on how to do that 
Um, so I hope this was helpful. Um, and uh, yeah, if you have any questions, let me know.